2023 World Cup is drawing closer and Canada is back in camp in France this week ahead of a friendly with the French national team on Tuesday, April the 11th. Uh, ahead of that match, I'm really happy to be joined now by Ashley Lawrence, Canada and PSG defender. Ashley, thanks so much for, for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, are you starting to feel now, just a few months out, that World Cup excitement, the excitement of a World Cup year building up? Uh, yeah, definitely. Firstly, thank you for having me. Um, it's uh, an exciting time uh, being back in camp with this group. Uh, this is our last uh, camp preparation uh, before before the World Cup. Of course, we have the, the pre-camp, um, but we are conscious of uh, the importance uh, of being together, um, of, of taking every day um, as we can to prepare um, and having the game at the end of this camp against France will be a really, really good test for us after the She Believes. Um, so, uh, yeah, we only have one game in this window, but it is giving us the opportunity to uh, to, to build um, uh, connections, team building, uh, getting in a lot more training sessions that we don't always have the time with more games in 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 the window. So uh, we're definitely taking advantage uh, as a group, uh, staff and players. Yeah, it's, it's a really big window for all the reasons you outlined there. And, and obviously a really familiar opponent for you as well with, with seven PSG players on, on the France roster. Um, what should we expect from France? What kind of test are you expecting in, the, in this match coming up? Um, yeah, uh, France uh, is a top, top, uh, top 10 nation. Uh, they have uh, really good players. Um, I play with seven of them uh, at PSG, uh, and uh, a lot of us are familiar with with the players. Uh, a lot of experience um, on the European stage, on the world stage, um, and uh, they ha recently have a new a new coach. So uh, I know that they'll be um, fully motivated, fired up to come out to put in a good performance. Uh, players are looking to earn their spots with a new coach. Uh, so uh, we know it's going to be a big test. We've played France uh, many times before. It's never an easy game. Um, their style is very technical, uh, possession-oriented, and uh, a lot of tricky players that, that are able to make the difference and score goals. So for us, uh, we pride ourselves on, um, on imposing our game, um, but ultimately um, being uh, defensively solid, um, keeping clean sheets. We saw that at the Olympics. That's what helped us propelled us forward to, to become Olympic champions. Um, so we want to continue uh, uh, to be consistent with that, to be disciplined with that. Um, and we're, we're going into that game to get a result um, uh, against a good good France side. Yeah, the, the defensive identity was, was obviously a massive part of your success at the Olympic Games in, in Tokyo. Is that, now, now you're coming closer to a tournament, is that becoming even more of a focus, that ability to get results in knockout games, things like that? And maybe especially coming off that Japan game where, where maybe the defensive performance wasn't quite where you wanted it to be? Yeah, I think that uh, it's always a focus of ours. Um, uh, we say it's a part of our DNA. Um, body on the line, um, gritty performance, uh, and just our mentality um, to fight for one another on the field. And uh, we know that uh, being uh, defensively solid um, will just continue to give our team confidence. Um, not getting scored on um, clean sheets, being a defender, being in that back line um, with with the goalkeeper. Uh, we, we always are motivated for that. And uh, uh, we come away from a game, of course, wanting to get the win, wanting to score goals, but to, to really uh, uh, play our role and in, in not getting scored on. And so, um, yeah, coming away from the She Believes, um, you highlighted the, the game against Japan, uh, a lot of learnings that we took away. Um, we've been... Uh, playing around with different systems, uh, defensive shapes, um, different types of pressing um, so that we could be the most uh, uh, versatile and adaptable team uh, at the World Cup. And so um, we, we understood that it, it might cost maybe a, a performance or a result, but the ultimate goal was long term. And for us, it was once we're at the World Cup that we are um, very strong, defensively disciplined and with the mentality that uh, we're going to go into every game um, uh, with, the, with, the, with that standard. Every team as well going into a tournament has to obviously overcome some some adversity and some difficult moments. And I think you guys have already had some of that with the injury issues that 
have arisen over the past few weeks. Uh, I, firstly, I just wanted to ask you about Janine Becky. What, what was your kind of reaction to that news? I know a lot of us were, were devastated to hear she'd missed the tournament. And how has the team reacted to, to losing an important player and a, and a big personality as well? Yeah, um, recently, uh, or in the last couple months, uh, the last year, um, we've seen uh, the spike in injuries um, uh, in the in the women's game and in in the men's game and in football in general and many sports. Um, so uh, it's it's not easy um, to to deal with uh, injuries. Um, we know it's a part of the game, but um, uh, to have a, a player like Janine Becky um, get injured, um, I know for myself and I could speak for the team um, that we're we're all devastated to learn of that. Um, Janine with her role on this team. Um, um, is such an integral part, um, being a leader on and off the field, um, and uh, uh, it's it's a big a big void um, for us. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's 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 not easy um, being back in, um, but we know that uh, we we're still headed towards the World Cup. Uh, we have to continue to stay focused uh, to to switch gears towards that. Um, but uh, yeah, we we're always thinking of of the players that uh, that are not here with us that are a part of this journey because for us, it's everyone uh, that plays a role that is important um, and that helped us get on that podium at the Olympics, um, that helped us uh, um, have success against uh, all, all the opponents that we've played throughout these last um, uh, windows, international breaks. Um, so uh, we're, we're fortunate to have a group uh, of players um, to come in um, and uh, to, to step up to playing different roles, different positions. Um, so uh, we're just, again, taking it one day at a time. And uh, uh, we're looking to uh, every player to, to step up and to have a voice and to, to play a role both on and off the field. Do you think it will potentially open up opportunities for, for new players as well? We've, we've started to see, you know, over the past year or two, players like Chloe Lacasse come in and make an impact. You have a new pro in the group now and Amanda Allen as well. Um, are there opportunities you, are you getting the sense in this camp for new players to maybe make their mark? For sure. Um, I think that uh, we have a, we have such a, a good group in that sense um, uh, with uh, young players coming in, newer players, whether it's their only first couple couple of camps, um, uh, we we're, we're, we welcome them um, and we allow them to come in to, to feel comfortable and um, and and to know that. Uh, they can uh, make an impact no matter what uh, the age, their age, or um, um, as you said, uh, Amanda Allen, Allen just just uh, signing her first professional contract. So we're conscious of that, and we know that, as you said, uh, uh, there there are spots open for everyone. Uh, it's a competitive group, um, and uh, that just pushes everyone else to to step their game up, um, and ultimately it brings the best performance out of the team. So. Um, it's it's overall positive, and uh, if we can continue to have everyone with that mindset, uh, it can only um, help us uh, going into uh, a World Cup. There's also a lot of very versatile, very adaptable players in this team. You're, yourself, as as much as any of them, and I'm I'm sure you're maybe aware of the debate that goes on: should Ashley play fullback or midfield, or where is she at her best for Canada? Do you do you have an opinion, or a preference on that, or do you kind of go where wherever the team needs you? Well, um, throughout my career, um, when I first signed my first pro contract, uh, I was playing fullback, um, and it was uh, actually fairly new. Uh, I was um, I had played one year with the national team at that point, so before that, I was in midfield for the majority um, of of my career uh, before then. Um, so I I was comfortable playing in midfield, um, uh, but once I was asked to play fullback, um, uh, I always try to bring my qualities to that position um, with my game sense being a midfielder, but bring it to, uh, to the fullback position, uh, my pace, uh, my ability to attack uh, and defend. I uh, had to learn uh, that aspect uh, at the beginning. So um, now it's been five, six years that I've really played fullback at a very high level. Um, and uh, it's, it's not an easy position. So um yeah, at this point in my career, I, I'm very comfortable playing fullback. I think that I can add a lot um, to uh, 
the national team with Canada to my professional team uh, with PSG. And um, I've been really able to um, uh, uh, make an impact. I've been able to uh, challenge myself and uh, really um, strive to be uh, the best fullback in the world. And so um, I think at this level, it is difficult to change positions. Um, but again, when uh, the coach asked me um, uh, to do something for the team, for whether it is if there's injuries or um, we want to try out a new formation or, or a new system, I'm always open um, because I, I'm a player for the team. I want what's best for the team. But I do believe that, um, uh, for example, at the Olympics, uh, we are defensively defensively sound and and uh, sometimes that does go unnoticed um, because we, we look towards goal scorers or just um, chances assist chances created but um, defend the defense is such a key element a key role in, in winning games and winning competitions and so yeah I think that my role as a fullback is 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 very important for for Canada well, and, and that defensive group just continues to, to go in strength and, and depth as well you've got Kadisha obviously in England now Vanessa Gio is in a title fight with, with, with you in, in France. Um, and Jade Rose as well looks like a, another really promising young player. Have you ever been part of a stronger kind of defensive group at any point in your Canada career than it is right now? Um, we've, since I've been on the national team, uh, we've always um, uh, prided ourselves on, on uh, the defensive uh, aspect. Um, we say our DNA being body on the line uh, and uh, just uh, that pride to, to represent uh, Canada. So we've been really strong in, in that domain, but yeah, I would say uh, having, being able to play with uh, players like uh, Kanishi Buchanan, uh, Shalina, um, Vanessa, uh, Jade coming through, um, so young, but so much potential. And again, the list can go on. Jay Riviere, um, Chapman. Um, so yeah, we are definitely blessed to have the players that we have um, um, as defenders uh, because uh, honestly, we have the mentality of players that will do anything uh, to, to, to not get scored on. Uh, we can win a game. And if we don't have a clean sheet, we're, we're frustrated, we're, we're angry. And that speaks volumes to our, our mentality. So yeah, the, this group uh, is special and uh, we're really fortunate to have uh, uh, these defenders. I, I would be remiss as well if I, I didn't ask you, obviously the She Believes Cup was a challenging camp in, in a number of ways for a number of different reasons on and off the pitch. How is this camp going so far from your perspective as players? Have things kind of been addressed and improved? Are you kind of satisfied with, with the working conditions or is there still work to do there? Yeah, I think that um, since the She Believes, uh, uh, that was a very powerful moment for us, for the team. Um, we wanted to start a conversation and that's exactly what we did. Seeing the support from Canadians um, was more than what we anticipated. And we're very grateful for that. Um, as of now, it's still in process. Um, there is no um, solution yet, um, but there have been steps made, steps forward. So um, that's very positive. Uh, and I, we're taking it, um, again, uh, as, as players, uh, we're uh, in constant communication and uh, uh, with the Federation. And so um, it is continuing to go forward. Um, uh, but as of now, there is no definite um, solution. Um, so, yeah, um, now being at this camp, it's, it's good. Again, having one game at the end, uh, we're really being able to be together as a group, players and staff, um, and uh, uh, continue to build that connection because that's also a very important element for us is, is um, that team spirit. Um, that's a key, an X factor um, when it comes to uh, major tournaments like the World Cup, like the Olympic Games. So um, we're just um, really happy, um, being positive, getting in some, some good training sessions on the field. And then when we have time off the field, we're continuing um, um, to move forward uh, uh, with that, that process. Ashley, I really appreciate the time. I'll finish up on, on one here and the most important, I think, of all. Thumbs up, thumbs down to the new kits. What do you think? Ah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, we just, uh, we had a quick, uh, um, like, 
photo of it, but um, I believe tomorrow we're going to be doing like photo shoot. So we're going to actually see uh, the jerseys, be able to put them on. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. Um, I love the home jersey, especially. So uh, yeah, we're going to be looking sharp at the World Cup. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you very much for, for joining us and, and all the best on Tuesday. We're looking forward to watching. Thank you. <laughs>